the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all my dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mysteries i confess to almighty god and, and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy glory to god in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god the son of the father you take away the sins of the world how mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father how mercy on us for you alone are the only one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father let us pray receive with favor o lord we pray the offerings of your people that what they profess with devotion and faith may be this through these heavenly mysteries through christ our lord amen a reading from the prophet isaiah seek the lord while he is still to be found call to him while he is still near let the wicked man abandon his way the evil man his thoughts let him turn back to the lord who will take pity on him to our god who is rich in forgiving for my thoughts are not your thoughts my ways not your ways it is the lord who speaks yes the heavens are as high above earth as my ways are above your ways my thoughts above your thoughts the word of the lord responsible psalm the lord is close to all who call him is close to all who call him i will bless you day after day and praise your name forever the lord is great highly to be praised his greatness cannot be measured the lord is close to all who call him the lord is kind and full of compassion slow to anger abounding in love how good is the lord to all compassionate to all his creatures god is close to all who call him the lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds he is close to all who call him who call on him from their hearts the lord is close to all who call him
our reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ will be glorified in my body, whether by my life or by my death. Life to me, of course, is Christ, but then death would bring me something more. But then again, if living in this body means doing work which is having good results, I do not know what I should choose. I am caught in this dilemma. I want to be gone and be with Christ, which be, would be very much the better, but for me to stay alive in this body is more urgent need for your sake. Avoid anything in your everyday lives that would be unworthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to accept the word of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner going out at work break to hire workers for his vineyard. He made an agreement with the workers for one denarius a day and sent them to his vineyard. Going out at about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, You go to my vineyard too, and I will give you a fair wage. So they went. At about the sixth hour, and again at about the ninth hour, he went out and did the same. Then at about the eleventh hour, he went out and found more men standing round, and he said to them, Why have you been standing here idle all day? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You go into my vineyard too. In the evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his bailiff, Call the workers and pay them their wages starting with the last arrivals and ending with the first. So those who were hired at about the eleventh hour came forward and received one denarius each. When the first came, they expected to get more, but they too received one denarius each. They took it, but grumbled at the labor Landowner, the men who came last, they said, have done only one hour, and you have treated them the same as us. Though we have done a heavy day's work in all the heat. He answered, one of them answered, my friend, I am not being unjust to you. Did we not agree? on one denarius, take your earnings and go. I choose to pay the last comer as much as I pay you. Have I no right to do what I like with my own? Why be envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today's Gospel, Matthew 21 to 16, presents a parable of workers in the vineyard. Each one started to work in the vineyard at different hours. At the end of the day, they all received the same pay. The workers who worked long hours were upset that those who worked only one hour received the same pay. 
so they complained everyone comes in the vineyard at the different points of their lives but in the god's vineyard that is kingdom of god each groups treated the same by human standard it may be unjust but jesus point of view the reward for the last comers is because of the generosity of the owner of the vineyard that is god here vineyard is the kingdom of god we are the workers in the vineyard we are called to be the workers in the vineyard of god by preaching teaching healing moreover witnessing in the name of jesus christ we are doing the work in the vineyard we are visible workers of the vineyard for jesus christ most important work in this vineyard is witnessing witnessing the word of god through our way of suffering for the kingdom of god way of renunciation way of sufferings way of agony way of tribulations only for god only for this vineyard that's a way of cross so jesus said to his disciples come and follow me take my cross and then follow me we receive the wage not because of duration of the time that is very important factor here but our intensity of work must be appreciated what is the intensity it is a willingness to suffer for jesus christ or suffer for heavenly values we can see the perfect example of this intensity of discipleship in st paul's mission journey second corinthians chapter 11 st paul says about his mission journey i have been in prison more times i was given 30 times lashes once i was stoned three ship works i spent 20 hours 24 hours in water i have been in danger from flood and robbers danger from false friends there has been work and toil i have gone without sleep i have been hungry and thirst i have been without enough food or water shelter or clothing finally st paul says but i boast these things to show how jesus christ blessed me in his name forever here the victory prize for st paul the wage for st paul pay for st paul is a blessing that comes from jesus christ second timothy 4 7 finally when mission journey ends st paul says I have done my best in the race. I have run the full distance and I have kept the faith and now there is waiting for me the victory prize of being put right with God on that day. The victory prize is his wage. This is the wage for vineyard workers. Jesus Christ is waiting for you for us in order to present the final reward my dear brothers and sisters we are waiting for the final reward so continue to work intensively in his vineyard the final wage will be given for us by the hands of Jesus Christ
believe in God, God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus in Christ, Christ, His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was who conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Lord, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, was crucified died, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. hell. On the third on day, the day, He rose again Austria from the dead. He ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated, and is seated at, at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From, from there, there He will come to judge the living and the dead. dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, Church the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us bring our needs before our Heavenly Father, whose goodness and generosity exceed all can ask for. Together we pray, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that Christians may always rejoice in every blessing received from God's grace, especially the gift of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That governments and societies may end the exploitation of people and resources and uphold the right of all to live and work with dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who call on the Lord in their needs, with whether physical, emotional, or financial, may feel His closeness and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering from unemployment or struggling to provide for their families may find suitable work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may rejoice to be with Christ in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, your ways are beyond our understanding, and you show kindness equally to all. In your goodness, hear our prayers and grant that all our actions may be for your greater glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. 
fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he ended his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this which we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us a body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your yeah, death, O Lord, Lord, and, and profess your resurrection and until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we memory to be cohesive to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the severest command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and train for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this lingering of the body and breath of Jesus Christ 
bring eternal life to us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion, my Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if we are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for mercy centered. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those who are affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those who are affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that their efforts to curb this pandemic may bear good results. We pray for all the people, especially our Parish people, that they may remain strong and committed in their faith and belief. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. 